they knew death was better than bondage. If Kevin Feige really wanted to boost sales for comic books, he could do it just like that. We, the audience, who watch the movies, and it's more of them than comic book readers. We like to wait for that post credit scene. We are invested that much, and we want more. And then it happens, and it says, so-and-so will return, and that's it. And then we're just like, ah, you got to wait another maybe four months for the next movie, Disney Plus series, or whatever comes next. What if we had comic books? that continued the story of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And they were canon. Stupid moments that, or not stupid moments, but thoughtful moments that you got to explain that you're not going to be able to do in a movie theater or would take away from the story or would be very dull and boring. You can get that all in writing. The reason why the mutants are back, you can explain it really short in the movie. But if you really want to get into the nitty gritty, talk about the first mutant, talk about the way that the X gene activated, the reactions of people. If you really want to get into the stuff like that, comic book it up. I'm not talking about a prelude comic where they just, it happens in main Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, 19999, Universe 19999, that one. <laughs> I'm not talking about a prelude comic. I'm talking about a canon comic that matters. You know what's great about comic books? The budget. If you want to have the Hulk, someone that you can't really use because Universal, someone that takes a lot of money to create and make moves, uh, Captain Marvel and her photon blast, really expensive to do that. If you want to do the comic book where you know, that explains specifically this moment, Captain Marvel comes up, Nick Fury's beeper stops beeping, Where's Fury? Who's to say she didn't get a fight with all of them? And then we could read a comic about that. For example, who's to say that, um, let's think of a post credit scene. It's uh, Spider-Man, okay? Peter Parker is his real name. Oh, shit. I want to see what happened after that. Give me a comic book. You can tell me that there's a comic book that's going to explain that Peter had to talk to Zendai, uh, Z Michelle and say, baby, um, we got, I can't, I can't right now. We got to break up right away or some shit like that. So give me some reason why she won't be in the next movie if she is in the next movie or not. Or him swinging up to May. May, we got to leave now before they show up. What? Swings up with her and now they're fugitives. Now they're homeless. And it will lead us to the new movie, Spider-Man Homeless, whatever it will be called. That would be cool in a comic book to, to get us to that place. And they could do that on free comic book day. These movie viewers don't know that there's actually a thing on the first Saturday of May called a free comic book day. I say that with certainty because as a movie goer, I didn't know prior to 2018 that there was a thing called free comic book day. It exists. Why don't we start making MCU comics on free comic book day? And Black Widow, which comes out May 1st with... Black Widow will return, because soul for souls, she'll be back. Um, in in free comic book day, read what read it read it and see how Captain America brought her back. If that's not already a scene in the movie, but come on, let's it's not that hard to figure out. Free comic book day is the day where you can get all of the billions of people. Two point seven billion dollars is what Avengers Endgame made. There's a lot of casual fans just asking, just begging for you to to bring them into the comic book shop so just give them a reason to on free comic book day hey it's free they just read their first comic and if they enjoyed that experience now they know where that local comic book stop short store is to stop by and bob's your uncle you just made customers for life all you got to do is show them one comic and while they're in the store they'll probably pick up something else who knows because they'll be like oh look only 3.99 that doesn't cost that much it does for us because we collect 10, 20, 30 comic. But to them, they're only going to pick up one comic book. What's going on with Spider-Man? <laughs> They'll probably get the wrong one written by J.J. Abrams or one of the off Spider-Man. Not Friendly Neighborhood or Amazing. But whatever. They'll get their Spider-Man comic. Yeah, come back next week, it says, at the end of this. Why not? And he just made a fan for life. You know what I mean? And Feige's got the creative hat now. The chief creative officer. He can do that for us. 
If you have ideas on how Kevin Feige could boost comic book sales, I would like to hear about them. I'd like to see them. And I would like for you to type them. Because that would put a smile on my face. That's the new thing now. We're just going to put smiley faces over my face.